right, so for Bathroom Light by Mount Joy, I love this song. You're gonna need an E minor. I'm playing all these as bar chords because I think that's how they do it, at least from a few of the live videos that I saw. Uh, e minor and then a D. So this is fifth fret. I'm barring the fifth fret, I guess. And then a G bar chord by the third fret E shape. And this one is the E minor you bar the seventh fret and then an A minor shape. Um, so you're gonna need those three chords for the, the verse, I guess. Um, also, I'm gonna try my best to show some of the like electric guitar riffs that are going on, but I don't know if I have those down. But let's start with the acoustic and the verse. With the E minor to the D to the G, you're gonna use this picking pattern throughout the whole entire verse. I don't know if this is right, this is just what I'm doing. I'm going with the bass. So I'm just literally strumming down that chord. So I start with the bass, which for the E minor is gonna be the A string. And then I pluck the D and the G and then the B. And then I kind of just go. So after I go all the way down, then I start back at the D string and I go back down to the D. So I'm just going A, D, G, B, D, G, B. And then I go to the D, I do the same exact thing. And then I go to the F. You're gonna do the same exact thing except, or now I go to the G. You're gonna do the same exact thing except for the bass is now on your E string. So you're just gonna skip over the A string. Just go from E, then straight to D. And I do that twice. Or then I, you, you do the same, same picking pattern that you've been doing. Just skip over the A string, because now the bass is the E string. And you, when you get to here, you stay on the G chord uh, twice as long as all the other chords. So you're going to go through that picking pattern two times just on this G chord. So it's going to sound like this. So, in total, the chorus, or the verse, should kind of go something like this. Something like that. Not too sure. Uh, also, what I like to do, if I can, is to add a little, like slap of the strings in between or I guess it's after I go down down the chord once so when I go and then slap and then you pluck those last three strings so in between that there's a slap it's kind of hard to do for me honestly um, but I think it adds that that slap that you kind of hear in the song. And then go through that again. Eventually you'll get to, I guess there's like a pre-chorus, I'll call it a pre-chorus. When you get there, you're gonna go to a C chord then up to a D, then to the G, then to the C again. And you stay on that twice as long. So pre-chorus goes C, which 
is the same shape as the D, just two frets down. C, D, G, C. Then it starts over. So in total, also a picking pattern for that pre-chorus, same exact thing. Um, you know, if you're at the G, just remember your bass string is now the E string. But for all the rest of those chords, the bass is still going to be the A string. And you're just going to start from the A and do that picking pattern down. Um, so, from verse into pre-chorus, it should kind of go... Pre-chorus hits. Then pre-chorus again. And then you go back into the verse and you do same same thing you did the first time. Then you get to the pre-chorus again. And then the actual chorus is actually the same exact thing as the pre-chorus. So I don't know anything about music, obviously. So just do the same thing you did for the pre-chorus. Um, it's the C, D, F, and then back to C. But then he gets to um, the part where he sings, like, tell your friends, tell your mom. That's going to be C to B minor, to C to B minor. Um, and then there's, like, a little bridge where it kind of slows down. And then he is just strumming the, the chords from the pre-chorus. So he's like... I don't know, it starts right there. And so instead, the, 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 the bridge is the only part where you're not finger picking the whole thing. I'm just not finger picking for like, to make the video uh, quicker and more efficient. But yeah, coming out of that first chorus, you're gonna go, tell your friends, tell your mom, And then into the bridge. And you do the same thing. And then you're gonna go back to this again. And then he starts finger picking eventually. Kind of forgot where. And then he goes back into the chorus. Um, and that's the whole song. So I guess I will try to run through the whole thing so you can kind of get a better idea of the entire song, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. Here we go. Pre-chorus. I think I messed up there. Back to the verse. Pre chorus.
Then this is a chorus. I don't know, something like that. Uh, I definitely messed up like six million times in that song, but I hope that that helps you. I hope that you be able to listen to it um, and kind of hear that what the chords sound like and hear what it, how you should play it. Uh, but anyways, the I'll get into like the electric uh, kind of riffs now. Um, so in the intro, I think he's doing this. And what I'm doing there is I'm kind of barring the ninth fret, but not the whole thing, just kind of the the G, B, and D strings. And then I'm gonna just essentially try to go for the, the G and the D string. And then I'm gonna hammer on from nine to 11 on the G string. And then after that hammer on, I'm not gonna touch the strings again with my right hand. I'm just gonna slide everything up so that I'm kind of barring the 11th fret and then my ring finger is on the 13th fret of the, the G string. So it's gonna sound like this so far. And then from there, you're gonna uh, pull off from the uh, 11th fret of the G to the 9th and then hammer on from 9 to 11 on the D so after you hammer on from 9 to 11 on the D you're basically gonna pull off um, and it's easier on an electric guitar, but my electric guitar is kind of broken right now. Um, so I can't use it, but if you can, you're gonna, you're gonna just hammer on and then pull off without plucking the strings again. You're just gonna, you're just gonna hit the D string once and then hammer on and then pull off. Um, if you have to, you can just like hit it again when you pull off um, so in total that lick is gonna look and sound like this and then it's cool when you when you're doing that whole riff if you just kind of give it some vibrato or whatever I don't I don't know what it's called like right there just kind of wiggle and then and then right before you pull off, I kind of wiggle the, the D string. And then sometimes I think I hear a little lick right after that riff. It goes like this. Something like that. So, I don't know.
I don't really know. But that lick is just nine on the D, then nine on the D again, and then 11 on the D. So far we have this. And then nine to 11 on the A. And then kind of hit the D and the G on the ninth. And then you go into that lick again. And then when you, he gets into the pre-chorus, I think I hear a lick that sounds like this a little bit. Um, I think he does it like twice in the pre-chorus, like each time it starts, I don't even know, a new bar, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but I think I hear that. I think I kind of see that. And what that is, is I'm going 11 on the D with my pointer and then nine on the G with my ring. I'm kind of hitting both of those. And then I hit them again and I slide them down two frets. And then I pull off from the, the nine on the G or from 11 on the G to nine on the G. And I hit it once before I do that, I guess. So then I kind of bar both of them with my pointer finger. And I just hit the G. And then I pull off from the G. And then on the D. Slide down two frets. Bar with your pointer finger. Pull off on the G from 11 to nine and pull off on the D from 11 to nine. Other than that, I think in the background during the verse, I think what the electric guitar is doing is something like this. And that would be, he hits each three of those like just once for every time there's like a new chord, I guess. So I guess when you're on the E minor, I think this is going on. What I'm doing there is just like a little power chord from ring fingers on not, uh, 11 of the D and pointer fingers on the 9 of the G. And then here I am going with like the Hendrix bar chord uh, on, the, on the 7th fret essentially. So my thumb is wrapped around hitting the E string on the seventh fret, and then from the B, G, and D, I'm just ascending. And you pluck all those strings. So, I think this is a B chord, not too sure. But you have this weird power chord, the B chord. And then I don't know what this is. I don't even know if this is right. This is just what I'm doing. I am basically barring from the D string down. So it's okay if you can't get the, the, the tiny E. And then I'm using my ring finger to hit the 11th fret of the A and then barring like the ninth fret from from D string down, and then I'm just plucking the A and these 
these three strings are, I guess, four total. Just not, none of the E strings are getting hit. I don't, I don't know if that's right. That sounds kind of weird to me. But I think that's what's going on at the, the verse. And then when he gets to the chorus, I think he's doing something different. I think... It's something kind of like this. Um, so what I'm doing there is this kind of weird chord shape. I guess I will, st I'll start from the bottom up. I got Middle finger is on the 10th fret of the B string. Pointer finger is on 9th fret of the G string. Ring finger is on the 11th fret of the D string. Pinky is on the 12th fret of the A string. And then the thumb is wrapped around so that it is hitting the uh, 9th fret of the E string. And I guess I'm not even hitting the A string whatsoever. But if you wanted to strum it, try to keep your pinky there. If you just want to pluck what I'm plucking, I guess you don't need your pinky. And then I just move that up two frets. I do the same exact thing. What I'm doing is I'm just hitting the bass and then hitting the rest. And then I just kind of bar um, the D, G, and B strings on the ninth fret. And I hit the open E. And I hit the G, D, and B. And then there's a little riff in between um, when he's singing that goes like this. And all that is is just hammer on from 9 to 11 on the G, and then hammer on from 9 to 11 on the D. And you just do that all over again. So, chorus, electric, background, sounds like this. And you do that again. I think that's about all I got. If you know more, or you know how to play this song the right way, because I clearly don't, let me know. Put it in the comments. Help me out. Help other people out. That's all I got. I hope that it helped. I know I couldn't, I couldn't find anything at all on like the electric riffs or really how to play the song, how I was seeing it being played using bar chords. That's all I got. I don't know.